Okay, shalom, shalom, kwam yasha Allah, kuholoyim la, yawa, bahasim, yawashai, bahasim, recha hachadash, daba honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say to water to other akim and akwa, that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, bahasim, yawashai, to the best of their ability. This is Yachanan Awaf, just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit, and just wanted to touch on this article, um, just show you these damn gooks, man. Um, these Moabites, these so-called Chinese people. You know, all these nations hate you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans because you are the Israelites. And um, these are the nations that, you know, hate Yahweh. They actually hate the, the, the Father, they, you know, the creator of all things. And they hate you because you, you were actually chosen by him. And all these nations are against you. And this is something that we try and tell our people all the time because you have to understand that, hey, the Lord said to never trust thine enemy. You're not supposed to trust these people. Do we do business with them? You know, we have to do, you know, because we're in captivity, we have to go to these people for services and, you know, certain things, you know, but just keep it at that. You know, go get what you have to get. Don't let them cheat you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Keep your eyeballs on, on, on you know, your surroundings, so to speak. But these are, are, are the so-called Chinese over in Nigeria, right? It says grocery store in Nigeria shut down after banning Nigerian shoppers. So here you go. You in their country. And you banning them from coming to shop at your store. But that shows you, too, the expansion of these Edomites, these Moabites. And see, all these, all these nations are, are just all over the globe just getting it in. They're all doing, you know, imports, exports, you know, and, you know, spending money, making deals, um, you know, coming up with policies and laws. And only people that don't have a, a, a say in anything... Is the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Because why? We are under the, you know, the, the curses of um, um, Deuteronomy chapter 28. Like right now, I'm looking into the sky. Motherfucker literally flying directly over my head. A damn airplane with a big-ass banner on it talking about selling, you know, want you to come get some damn marijuana. Shit crazy, bro. Leaf, what'd it say? Leaf and bud, big sale. Weed. Literally, you can't make it up. I should have just turned the camera on this shit. This shit is crazy, bro. Let me see. And they can they can literally just fly this shit over our neighborhoods like this. Now, what if something were to happen? I couldn't go to get it to go up into the camera. But what if, you know, and, and matter of fact, one of those planes crashed in the hood not that long ago. It just flew right into a lady's house, man. So this is what these nations are able to do see they're able they're over us here go another one look at this shit it's, it's they they right behind each other let me hold on now. let me see here salakia y'all look at this shit where this shit at y'all can see this right above me both of them fly just flew over right above me let me see if i can get it in frame where this shit at damn Shit, can't see it. They're flying through the hood, <laughs> you know, trying to get Jake to come buy weed, man. Trying to get Jake to come buy marijuana. This is what they've been doing. They've been doing this for the past couple of months now. Just airplanes, you know, like those small engine planes. You know, they have the banners on the back where you can advertise and shit. They just floating all over the city from east side to west side here in Detroit. Incredible, man. But those are our enemies, man. That's that right there is the spirit. But let's get a little bit of this article, right? Because we know that a lot of those Nigerians, you know, they are Israelites. And that's, that's more than likely who they're, they're keeping out of the store, you know? So they shut their asses down, which is, which is, hey, all about the spirit and power of Yahweh, about Shem Yahweh Shai, man. See, the Lord is starting to cut into these nations, man. The Lord is starting to cut into these nations that have done us dirty for these, these, these you know, this half a millennial, so to speak. Here go another one. There's a fucking other one. So they got three of them in the sky. This one even bigger. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get it this time. It's a lucky, y'all. Bear with me here. Let's 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 get this. This is what Esau and, and and you know these nations get to do, man. They just, just get to fly over the hood and, and and try and sell Jake some goddamn bud, man. Some weed. See the plane in the backdrop there? See that big ass banner on the back? This is what they do, man. They circle the hood all day long. This shit is is uh, leafandbud.com. See? This is what I'm talking about right here, man. 
So you know that we are in a bad state when they can do shit like this. Because they're not about to fly them shits over these white people neighborhoods, man. They're not, they're not flying them shits over their neighborhoods. Trust me. They're not, they're not going into their airspace with that bullshit. Okay, but it says a federal agency in Nigeria has taken action against a supermarket in the country's capital of Ab Abuja. Now, they in, the, they in the fucking capital doing this shit by closing it down. According to Atlanta Black Star, the agency shut down a Chinese-owned grocery store for allegedly discriminating against Nigerian customers. The outlet noted that the supermarket, which was not named in the article, which they should have named it, had put up a sign barring Niger Nigerians from shopping at the store. Now, they put up a fucking sign. So this is no different than, you know, remember in the Americas where it was, you know, whites only? See, all these, these nations, man, they getting down on us, man. They had that confederate. I'm going to go off into that in Psalms 83. Atlanta Black Star. Atlanta Black Star also reported that a Nigerian news outlet called Punch NG confirmed the store's policy through a security guard who worked there. The guard noted that management put the rule in place earlier this year. The guard said that non-Chinese shoppers were not allowed to shop at the store and were stopped at the gate near an entrance, his entrance. So the so-called Chinese people that went over there into the continent of Africa and then set up shop and they live in there. It's parts of, or, or over in Africa you can go to and you'll think you in China. In China. They, they don't, they don't, they don't, um, you know, set up shop in that bitch, man. Got neighborhoods, got their own, you know, they, hey, they, they doing it, man. It says, um, Nigeria has long been an ideal choice for, um, for um, Chinese expats because of the close trading relationships between the two countries, the business opportunities and the infrastructure pro projects happening in the country. And see, you're not supposed to, that, the script, matter of fact, let me, let me get this real quick. Because this is when motherfuckers take over, man. You're not supposed to be dealing with your enemies like that. But they don't really know like that, you know what I'm saying? But any nation that's outside of your nation is a potential enemy. You know, you could do business with them, but to allow them to come and set up shop in your country, now that's not a cool look, man. That's, that shit is dumb, really. You know, I got this in my country. You got that in your country. We're a barter for it. You know what I'm saying? You need this particular type of minerals or, or whatever. I got it. You got this particular hookup that I need. You got it. So we'll trade off. We could do some exports, imports, little shit like that. But for you to come and set up a city in my shit? Nah, 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 nah. I get you having a little neighborhood. But, you know, motherfuckers, they going off in there and setting up shop like, you know, they, they just there to take over. Here go another plane. Crazy, bro. And no one's going to do anything about it. They're just flying over the hood, these big-ass banners. Crazy, bro. But that lets you know, too, how far the, the uh, marijuana industry has, has, has um, flooded these places, man. Like here in, in, in Detroit, they them, them shits on every corner down there. You can go to a um, dispensary and, and get down, man. Anyway, let's get this real quick. Back to the scriptures. Oh, boy. Ecclesiastes 12 and 10. Never trust thine enemy, for like his iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Which means they're going to eventually show you their true colors. You know, you know them Chinese going off in there. Yeah, we're going to do business. We're going to, it's going to be good for everyone. You know, we're going to do this. We're going to do, you know, and, and then they get off in that motherfucker and tell you, nope, you're not allowed here. Just like those, so it's so-called white people over in Africa that's like that. Them Africans. <laughs> they got their whole um, shit set up, man, over in Africa, man, and, and, and discriminate against Jake, man. Verse 12, it says, set him not by thee. This is the point that I wanted to make right here. Set him not by thee. Lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. You ain't supposed to let these people get that close to you, man. Not supposed to, because now you, you know, you, they're, they're giving you loans. You owe them money. And they in your own country running shit. That shit is not, you know, not smart, man. But, um... Let's go up into Psalms 83. Because those Moabites, that's the biblical name for the so-called Chinese. They are most definitely some of the Lord's main enemies. And they hate you, Jake, man. They hate you um, so-called blacks. 
Hispanics and Native Americans. They look at you with such disgust. I, I, as a matter of fact, where I work at, at this plantation, you know what I'm saying, it's mostly Edomites. You know, pretty much, I got to say about 95% Edomites. But there's a splash of these, um, these damn Moabites and shit. And I had stepped away from like our cubicle for a hot sec, and then I came back, you know what I'm saying, my alarm was going off on my phone. You know, it, it was a so-called Chinese woman. She was about to grab my phone up to turn my, my, my alarm off. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? But that's the type of boldness that they have. And they look at you with such disgust. I think, I don't know, I think Moab probably look at us with more disgust than the so-called white man in a lot of cases. Like, they, they are here planted in America and just living as if they're, they, they, they really just doing it. They really doing it, man. <laughs> and you, Jake, better um, better wake the fuck up and realize that these people are your enemies. All these nations are your enemies, man. Don't get to thinking that, oh, well, like, you know, Su Xiang, she do my nails and, you know, whatever the fuck. She's cool and you bringing her damn gifts and shit, you know. And and, and I thought about you and, uh, you know, I was coming to get my and I got you this. And it's been sitting there with a mask on her face while she's poisoning you with the damn chemicals doing your fucking toes, you know. Twing, yoing, yoing in your ass as you walking out of the store. So, man, don't trust none of these people. You don't owe them none of that. You know, uh, but the scriptures do say, you know, if it's at all possible to um, be at peace with all men. That's it. I'm not going into your store. I'm going in to get what I need to get, and I'm coming right back out. You know what I'm saying? Because I understand that you're just here for the money anyway. All that speaking and shit, we ain't got to even say hi. Just let me get what I'm going to get, man. Psalms 83 and 1. Start from the top. A psalm of some, a song or psalm of a sigh. Keep not thy silence, O Yahweh. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O Yahweh. And that's coming. That's 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 happening, man. The Lord is not going to hold his peace much more longer. You can start to see um, things starting to break up with these nations. He's not holding his peace with these people no more, man. You know, and and, and for them, you know, they, they see they have the Lord's inheritance in their hands, man, their power. The children of Israel, they, they we belong to the Lord. And they acted, they done tuck us and then and, 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 and made us subjects to them, man. That shit is not going to go well for them. <laughs> the Lord is going to be about to get down on these people, man. That's why it's so important that you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we tell you all the time, hey, look, repent, man. Repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, because he's getting ready to get down. And see, a lot of these people, they're going to lead this country, but a lot of them are going to be still here when the, when the missiles hit, when the Lord comes. There's going to be some more bites here, some so-called Chinese people setting up shop thinking that they was about to go and do some goddamn hands and toes that day and getting their ass obliterated verse 2 it says for lo thine enemies make a tumult see notice it says uh, thine enemies these people are our enemies and they that hate thee have lifted up the head they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones see this is what they do they take crafty counsel they consult against us. Yeah, them niggas this, them niggas that. Yeah, we got to do this. We got to do that. We keep these niggas on this. We keep, but we have to keep them down because if they come up, then what are we going to have? And they understand that. Especially the elite of them. The, the, the elitists of these leaders, you know, because, you know, you, you've got the so-called white man. He's the wicked. He's really the one in power. But you do have some so-called Chinese people that's up there. So-called, you know, all these, these nations, they, there's some, some men and women of all these nations, you know what I'm saying, that's up there on a higher, you know, um, um, surface, so to speak, you know, looking down on the, on, on, on the, on the city, <laughs> you know, that, that no inside shit. And they know that we are the children of Israel and they understand that hey, we got to keep them niggas down. Because if we allow them to come back up, if we allow them to start calling on their God, then we're through and they know it. But, 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 but it's going to happen anyway because it's prophetic. OK, but it goes on to say. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more remembrance. And they do that by giving you these names when they conquered us, you know, calling us by words, you know, um, blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, Jamaicans, Haitians. They they're not going to call you an Israelite. They're not going to tell you, oh, you're the, you're the Hebrew Israelites that came out of Egypt with Moses. We have your history right here. We know who you are. No, they're not going to tell you that. See, now you got Putin over there, um, the president of Russia. He kind of broke, you know, broke open a, a couple of older icons of so-called black Jesus and shit like that. But he really didn't go into detail as to who these people really are. He, he didn't have a couple of slips here and there, you know what I'm saying? You know, but he's, you know, they're not going on national TV and saying, hey, you know what? Those so-called Negroes in America, you know, in these different places, those are Israelites. They're not going to tell you that. They don't want you to know because we built this whole globe up for them 
everything that you see in, in, around you in any country that you go to is mostly that's Jake work, man. That's free labor that they've gotten off the children of Israel. So people get to talking to us about our our, um, you know, style of teaching, so to speak. When we going into the scriptures, giving you what the scriptures is saying, they call us racist. But motherfucker, we in captivity because of racism still to this day. And nobody is up in, 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 in an uproar. Oh, you're not in slavery. What do you mean? You're able to, you know, just because you can go and get a damn cheeseburger at 2.30 in the morning, do a drive through that don't make, make you free. Because you're not leaving America. You're not leaving uh, wherever we are. We're not leaving those places unless we have the credentials of those countries, man. We have to have their passports. We have to have their IDs. We're not free, man. We are still on, in captivity. And the Lord is about to get down on these clowns, man. And I can't wait, bro. I just look at them with fucking disgust now. Okay, but it goes on to say, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. And then it goes into the, the list of the people, the tabernacles of Edom. That's the, that's the biblical name for the so-called white race right there. Esau, Edom, that's their biblical nationality because they're not white. They ass is not running around out here looking like a, a glass of milk, man. They ask us as pinkish to reddish in color, like how the scripture says they are. And then the next one in line is the Ishmaelites, which is these damn Arabs. They in our hoods, too. They deep in the hood right here in Detroit. They run every damn thing in the hood over here. They got the liquor stores. They got the um, um, the bank. They got their own banks and shit. Matter of fact, right up the street, they got their own city with their own police officers, their own mayors, their own, you know, their own shit. So if I drive through there, I'm subject to get pulled over by one of these these fuckers, man. I got to go to their court. I got to stand before a judge that, that that's, uh, that's of their people, bro. That lets you know how, how downtrodden we are as a people. Literally like four or five miles up the street, they got that shit locked. That's where they was chanting um, from, um, um, you know, death to America. Um, um, a, a, about a week back or so. They own all the mechanic shops in the hood. You got to take your car to them. They own all the, um, you know, the, uh, uh, the tire um, 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 spots where if you catch a flat, you go to them. They got all that shit locked. Gas stations, they got that shit locked. And then next in line is, here we go, Moab. The so-called Chinese people. That's over in Nigeria telling some Nigerians that you can't shop at a supermarket that's in their country, bro. That shit is retarded. But that lets you know the type of um, mindset that they have and the type of hatred that they have for you. And they probably wasn't expecting um, that shit to go down because it had been going on for a minute. Here you go. You bold enough to put up a sign <laughs> saying hey, no niggas allowed, basically, you know, in their country, bro. I mean, just, but that let you know, man, we're in captivity and really in reality, you know, we, we just waiting, man. We, we just waiting on our Lord, man. But this, but the list goes on and the Hagarings get bald. You got Ammon. Ammon is the so-called Japanese. They look at you with such disgust too. all of them do. You got Amalek. Amalek is the people that's over there in the Holy Land right now calling themselves Israelis when they're actually Edomites. That's that they're the top tribe of the Edomites. The Philistines, you got these damn Africans <laughs> with the inhabitants of Tyree. Because I was telling a brother yesterday at camp, like, bro, we're not Africans, bro. Everyone with melanin is not the same people, but guess what they've done? They they blended us all in together. And just because we have the same skin color as they have, the so-called white man them pushed it that y'all Africans. But it's 54 countries in, in, in the continent of Africa. They can't tell you what part of Africa you're from, <laughs> what dialect you speak. Well, what country I'm going to if I went back to Africa? Because there's 54 countries in there. Some of those countries are as big as the um, United States, damn near. That's a huge continent. And everybody that's in there are not the same people. And Ethiopian is not going to tell you that you're, you're, they're related to no Negroes. You best believe that. They look at your ass like you are nothing. That goes for any uh, 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 damn um, Zimbabwean or whatever the fuck they are. They're they, they going to look at you like, no, nah, them motherfuckers, no, we're not related to niggas. When they come to the Americas, they be in the neighborhood getting down on Jake too. So when the straight comes down to it, when the Lord gets, gets busy, hey, we're going to have, hey, we're going we gonna to whoop on their ass, all of them. All that, that teaming up. Because really, in reality, it's, think of it as a, as a fight. You're one person. You got 17 people, man, surrounding you. You got to fight all 17 of these people. So really, all seven, all, it's 18 nations on the planet, according to the scriptures. All 17 other nations have been jumping us, man. 
They've been jumping us. They've been jumping us for a long time, for centuries, man. So guess what? The Lord is going to come through and he's going to get us out of this situation. And we're going to have the spiritual powers, man, to really fuck them up. And I can't wait, bro. I can't wait. For real, for real. As a matter of fact, let me get this too. Now, this is going up really off into um, Esau because he, he hates us the most. The so-called white man, he, he's the one that hates us the most because he's the one that allows these people to come. He sets them up to come into our neighborhoods to, to set up shop and just, just you know, clean up all the, you know, all the other money that they're not getting. Y'all can have the crumbs. Go in there and keep them niggas down. But we're going to get the, the lion's share of it. See? Ezekiel um, 35 and 5. It says, because thou has, the, and like I said, again, this is going into Esau, because Esau, he's that main nation that hates us the most because of the birthright and because of the blessing. This whole movie is about Esau and Jacob, the two brothers that came out of um, Rebecca as twins. It's between those two nations of people. Oh, see, like the Moabites, these so-called Chinese people, they're just extras in the movie, but they're going to get their asses kicked, just like extras in the movie, <laughs> you know? But this is Ezekiel 35 and 5. It says, because thou has had a perpetual hatred. See, they're going to always hate you. They're not going to slack up on that shit ever, man. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of, thy, in the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, I will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou has not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. So this is what's coming to you Edomites. And since you other nations, you know, ganged up, you know, and got into the fight, too, you're going to get the same ass whooping. But mainly you Edomites, man, y'all going to get it the worst. Y'all going to get it the worst. And the scripture talks about paying to you double. Paying to you double, because really, when you really think about it, it's like you got a brother. And your brother got everything. And he don't want you to have a piece of it, but he'll 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 allow. Some damn strangers to get down and get more of, of, of the pie than you. He don't want you to have nothing. He'll, he'll allow strangers, he hates you so bad that he will allow strangers to come and, and, and destroy you. And he's sitting back and he's just watching, man. Laughing his ass, that's how, that's how bad he hates us. And so they're gonna have to pay for that type of hatred, man. Again, it says, therefore, as I live, said the Lord, I will, pre I, pre I will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. So, hey, look, Esau, so-called white man, y'all might as well get ready. And all that made in China shit, all that shit gonna be um, 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 burnt to smithereens, man, when, uh, um, when that fervent heat comes. <laughs> so just get, get, get you know, hey, we, we, we're patiently waiting. We're just patiently waiting, man, you know, faithfully and patiently waiting, like um, the scripture says, man, on, on the Lord to come through. He's gonna... He's going to visit this man. He's going to get us out of what we're in because we're actually powerless. Jacob really is a worm, man. We like a worm on the ground, man. You ain't going to do shit. Bird can come through, snatch your ass up. You can get stepped on, whatever. You know, we, we're, we're powerless, man. We really are, man. And we really do need our Lord. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. So with that, I'm pretty this lesson was edifying. Matter of fact, let's get this, though. Let's get one more. Because this is what's about to come to you, um, 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 to you damn Edomites anyway. And, and, and you set these people up like this. Revelation um, 13, let me start at verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. This is what we're patiently and faithfully waiting on, man. Because you Edomites, y'all led us into captivity. You, you allowed all the other nations to get their licks in on us. And you still have us. That's the crazy part. And then you're running around here with this, this, um, this front as if we're free. And you know damn well we're not free. Because y'all snatching taxes from us on a week-to-week -week basis as we work. And then you're sending it to other countries that don't like us too. Think about that for a second. These fucking Israelis don't like us, man. You know? Those damn Ukrainians, man. They don't want nothing to do with us, man. You see? So, we already, we, we, we know what's about to happen to y'all, man. The scriptures is, 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 is number one. KOs after KO after KO. No one is going to beat the Lord. No one's going to beat the scriptures. It's just a matter of, of sitting it out and waiting on it. All we have to do is sit it out and wait on it. That's it. 
So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.